Hello and welcome to the next part, the second part of drawing with emulator 8086. So in the previous video we just did this, just one pixel, and in this video we will continue drawing an entire square. So we have to move for a specific length to this direction and this for example to this direction and then for example to this direction and then to this direction and then we will have uh, a square and a square all the all the li all the um, sorry all the sides of, um, of a square are of equal length so if the length is 50 this uh, side is going to be 50 and this one is 50 as well and all of them are going to be 50 so how to do that? Well, first we need a loop. Okay. We will use uh, the register BL uh, for our loop. So 70 is gonna be the length of the line. Okay. Um, we need a loop because we're drawing just pixels. So they're gonna be 70. And then we will have a line. Okay, so 70. And then in order to loop through our code, we should label it. We can label it, we can give it any name. I'm gonna call it the first line. And then we're gonna have interrupt in H as usual. And then in order to draw a line, like um, our pixel was like here. And then we want to move it to this direction for a length of 70. Then we have to increase, we have to increment um, CX, as we have already learned. So we will increment CX. And then we we'll repeat. So incrementing CX is going to increment it by 1. We want this to happen 70 times. So we want this to be repeated. So we'll jump jump if then zero to our label which is first line let's try this aha it didn't stop we forgot an important thing stop it so we forgot this is always 70 in this case we we forgot to decrement this to be zero so we're jumping if non-zero if bl is non-zero and it's always non-zero if we didn't if we do not decrement it so we have to decrement uh bl each time by one so the first time is going to be 70 and then I'm um, 69, 68, 67 until it's zero and then it's, it's not going to jump this 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 condition will fail so it's not it's gonna be zero so this is jump if non zero if BL is non zero so now fantastic now we have just one line this was the starting point and then we moved to this direction by 70 now we we, we want to go down by 70 so We'll just copy the same code. I'm sorry. Copy it and paste here. And we'll change what needs to be changed. First BL is going to be 70. Nothing will change. The same length is going to be, for example, second line. Let's call it second line. Interrupt animation is not going to change. We're not going to increment CX. We're not going to go this direction as well. We want to go down. So we want to increment DX. Oh, we're going we're gonna to decrement BL, as usual. And we're going to jump, if not zero, to the second line. And repeat it. So let's copy this. Put it here. see very good nice 
cool. It's continued. It's um, just copy and paste again. Let's have a third line now. So BL is going to be 70 because we have square. So this is going to be a third line, let's call it. A third line increment. And then we want to decrement CX. Why is that? Because we want to move left. So we want to decrement CX. As we have already learned, incrementing CX, you will move to this direction, and if you decrement CX, you are going to go in this direction. So let's jump to the second line, uh, the, the third line, and let's. <coughs> Very good. Uh, now we're left with just one line, and it's going to be the fourth line. Sorry, it's going to be this. And I'm sorry. It's going to be also 70. And um, it's going to be our fourth line. Let's call it fourth line. I don't know whether or not I'm right spelling. <laughs> so the increment, the interrupt is going to be 10 each as usual. We are going to decrement the X in this case because we're going to go up. So we're going to decrement the X and decrement BL in order for the loop to end and then jump to the fourth line. Let's copy this and paste it here, and then run. Very nice, now we have a rectangle. Now let's draw another rectangle. Let's try to do that. So we want to draw another rectangle besides that. So let's copy the entire code. What we want to change is the starting points first. So first we started in 30 and 50, but that's not going to work, okay? So we want to start, for example, 6 is going to be 30, and then plus 70, 100, for example, 120. And we will see it. It start in 120. We change them here. Another square. This is the starting point. Uh, move CX 120. And then move DX. Uh, it's going to be actually the same, 50. And then the same thing, we're gonna just change these labels. They don't have to be the same. So first line one, first line one, second line one, second line one, third line one, third line one, sorry. And fourth line one, fourth line one, and let's run and see whether that works. Hopefully it will work. 
So that is the first square. Fantastic. And that's the second square. So we did it. Thank you for watching.